In the previous section, we saw that it is possible for gases to become dissolved in solvents. The solubility of a gas in a solvent is summarized in Henry's Law. And Henry's Law says that the concentration of the gas is equal to some constant times the partial pressure of the gas. So here in this calculation, a lot of the times they use S as the concentration, even though it is in molarity. In some textbooks, you might see an M here. But the idea is that as we increase the partial pressure of the gas, as we put our solution under pressure from the gas, the um, concentration of the gas in the, um, in the solution is going to increase. So here the uh, concentration of gas is uh, just a common concentration. So we are using molarity, which is mole per liter. K is a Henry law constant for the uh, particular situation that you're looking at. And that's going to be mol uh, molar per ATM. And then P is the partial pressure of the gas that we're using. Even though this is a simple uh, equation, the idea of Henry's law is actually quite important. And we see it often inside of everyday life. When you have a Coke can, the CO2 that's dissolved in the Coke is actually held into place by a large pressure inside of the can. And so when you open the can, the pressure of the gas actually decreases and that causes the solubility of CO2 to also decrease and then that causes the CO2 to bubble out. So here is a quick example uh, of a question using Henry's Law. These are pretty simple. The idea being that uh, most of the time we give you two of the variables and have you calculate a third. In this case, I have told you that we have a situation where CO2 in water has a concentration of 3.2 times 10 to the minus second molar. I also tell you that this is at uh, 25 degrees, so there is some variability about the temperature, but typically our Henry's Law constant is for a typical temperature of the situation. The other piece that I need to know is what's the partial pressure of our gas. So this is going to be inside of an enclosed uh, container. So for the Henry's Law equation, I've given you the solubility of CO2 and I've given you the partial pressure of CO2. And now what we're looking for is the Henry's Law constant. So I solve this equation for K. Um, that's really just the solubility of CO2 divided by the partial pressure of CO2. And from that, we get our uh, Henry's Law constant for this particular situation. And remember that the units on a Henry's Law constant is uh, molarity per ATM.